and also in PAC6-related aniridia, there is a potential role for goniotomy in uh, uh, prophylaxis of glaucoma. Prophylactic goniotomy for PAC6-related uh, aniridia uh, glaucoma uh, was first described by uh, Dave Walton, who is on this webinar as a discussant today. And what they showed was that, you know, in a substantial number of those patients, there was no glaucoma developed, and uh, six were controlled on uh, two drops. The rationale is that if you look at the iris stump that remains, it sort of closes up. So if you can create a recession by doing your uh, goniotomy, that that stump doesn't close and doesn't cause this. Exactly the same goniotomy that you would do for primary congenital glaucoma, but it's psychological. You, know, you don't have that iris to protect you from the lens. But once you get over that, you can see that as you cut, the um, iris uh, remnant drops back and you see that uh, recession develop really quite nicely. Do that. These are cases referred to me, both actually with Axel and Farriga, who both had tubes in the first three months of life. And you can see that this one has, uh, you know, uh, glaucoma, loss of zonules here. And this child, actually, the tube rubbed against the cornea and he got a corneal melt. And this is me putting a good distance flap on to try and... I'd just like to comment on the pathology of aniridia, that it's not an angle closure glaucoma. In other words, it's not a phenomena where the stump of the iris rotates up and covers the meshwork, but it's rather a crawling forward of the iris tissue itself over the deep trabecular meshwork. And one sees that on goniotomy when you look at where the iris is inserted, you'll see a fibrovascular membrane extending from the iris uh, insertion up over the uh, trabecular meshwork. So when one does uh, or use the goniotomy knife to do the prophylactic surgery, you, you do just exactly as you show beautifully, you engage the tip of the knife in the iris and pull a little bit posteriorly and, and it comes off the meshwork. In fact, when I do it, I try to avoid cutting anything except just the initial.